This is Brandon Lee with BetFirms.com here with your 2012 Pittsburgh football predictions. Pittsburgh was supposed to compete for the Big East title in 2011, but ended up finishing tied for fourth with a 4-3 four conference mark. They needed a win in the regular season finale just to finish the season 6-6 six and, six and qualify for postseason play. They ended up playing in the Compass Bowl where they were dominated 28-6 by SMU. Overall, it was a very disappointing season for the Panthers, but they did have three losses decided by four points or less. It really wasn't a big surprise to see Pittsburgh fail to show up in their bowl game against SMU. Head coach Todd Graham decided to leave for Arizona State prior to the game, forcing the Panthers to play in their second straight bowl game under an interim head coach. They went out and signed Wisconsin offensive coordinator Paul Chris to replace Graham in 2012. For the players' sake, hopefully he will be able to stick around a while. Chris will be the Panthers' sixth different head coach in their last 15 games. If the Panthers are going to turn things around in 2012, they are going to have to get better play out of starting quarterback Tino Sinceri. After throwing for 2,572 yards with 16 touchdowns to just 9 interceptions as a sophomore, Sinceri threw for 2,616 yards but had more interceptions than touchdowns in 2011. Some of that had to do with learning a new offense as the Panthers switched to a spread offense last year. This season, they go back to a more pro-style offense, which I think is a better fit for Sinceri. With the return of star running back Ray Graham and the addition of very highly touted freshman running back Russell Shell, Pittsburgh should have one of the most explosive rushing attacks in all of college football. Graham had 958 yards and 9 touchdowns before his season was cut short with a torn ACL against Connecticut. Had Graham not got injured, the Panthers very well could have won the Big East. They lost the following week 23-26 at home to Cincinnati and later lost at West Virginia 20-21. Opposing defenses are going to have to scheme around stopping Graham and the Panthers' rushing attack, which should give the Pitt wideouts a lot of favorable matchups on the outside. With the top four receivers all back from last year, including Cameron Sadler who missed the final five games, the Panthers have the potential to really show some big time improvements in their passing game. This is one of the big reasons why I think Sinceri is going to have his best season yet. If you know anything about Wisconsin football, you know they do a fantastic job of sending out one of the best offensive lines in the country just about every season. This is where the addition of Chris really makes a lot of sense. The Panthers had one of the worst offensive lines in all of football last year. They allowed an NCAA modern day record 64 sacks. While they have to replace both starting tackles, they return all three on the inside, including talented guard Chris Jacobson and center Ryan Turnley. This is the unit where I look for Chris to make an immediate impact in his first season. The Panthers held opposing offenses to just 117 yards per game on the ground in 2011 behind a veteran bunch. This year, the only starter back is junior defensive tackle Aaron Donald but I don't expect to see much of a drop-off. Prior to leaving Pitt, Wanstead added in a number of talented defensive linemen who are ready to shine in 2012. Big concern on the defensive side of the ball is how the Panthers will fare having to replace three of their top linebackers from last season. The biggest hole they have to fill is at middle linebacker where they have to find a replacement for first-team All-Big East linebacker Max Gruder. They have quite a few solutions. Backup Shane Gordon is the leading candidate to start in the middle, but they also returned Dan Mason and moved outside linebacker Juan Price inside in the spring. On the outside, they returned sophomore Todd Thomas, who should have a much better season after playing most of last year with a partially torn ACL. Last year, the Panthers had a horrible time stopping the pass. Opposing quarterbacks on average completed about 61% of their attempts for 234 yards per game. While they lose second-team All-Big East corner Antoine Reed, they have four back who started at least six games last year, including one of the top free safeties in the country in Jared Hawley. Look for this unit to make some solid improvements. Now for my Big East prediction, I have Pittsburgh winning the conference in 2012. Normally I steer clear of teams with new head coaches, but the Panthers are an exception. Pittsburgh has one of the most dynamic running backs in all of college football in Graham, a veteran quarterback poised to bounce back, and a defense that is very underrated. While they have to go on the road to face UCF, they get both Louisville and Rutgers at home. I'm calling for Pittsburgh to finish 6-1 in conference play 
which I believe will have them playing in a BCS Bowl for the first time since 2004.